Okay. I'm guessing Adam is not joining us for now. I think maybe, maybe he is still working with his character. So I'm guessing if any, everybody else is here, we can uh, roll out with our uh, session. Can move you to Someone's the... not here. What? Who? You. What? Oh, uh, you're no, you're here. Simon. Yep. Well, everyone, everyone is here, including me. Yeah, I'd say everyone except Adam. Yeah, but he's still. I'm guessing he's still working on his character, so he might yeah, he might he's... not not join us this week. Yeah, he's actually got a, got a back story. <laughs> well, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Okay, so when we last met our heroes, our dear Bard, do you want to give a quick recap or no? No. Okay. Everybody already. Yeah, everybody remembers what happened last time. So, yeah, I'm guessing that the body of Ranford was left with Jai's hands. And yeah, he, he, he will probably caught on a dead plague or something and died. He he will <laughs> deal with this. Um, and yeah, but the, not much time has passed. Like people are, st you know, typical stuff after the zombie attack, like trying to get shit sorted out, to like uh, count the people and so on, yada yada yada. And question is, what will you do now? Well, <clears throat> I look at the, the others in the group and say, what now? <laughs> okay, no one has any idea, it seems. Mm. Well, if no one has... Is it night yet? Uh, well, it can be. Yeah, for now it's like late, e late evening, night almost. All right, let's get pissed. I sit down on the ground, cross my legs, start floating and meditating. <laughs> I stare at him <laughs> in the middle of a graveyard. Okay, I didn't. Well, yes. I didn't like like told you where are you, so I can we can assume that right now you are um, in the AJ. cemetery for now. Okay, so. Uh, Elmradu Elm is starting meditating. Like, is this, is this the only like uh, lore thingy, or are you trying to get something like connect um, with your powers, get information, or trying to? Yeah, pretty much connect with my powers. See who um, try to see if I can see what power the zombie apocalypse stuff. Mm. Can you specify a question a little bit? Like, are you trying to? get like know who did this and what kind of powers he used to do this or Pretty something much. else okay so i don't know i don't think you need to make any kind of role for this like it I, there's the star chart mystery that lets me use commune essentially but i don't have that so this is just basically like a hey was this like that lich guy that we fought that set this up pretty much. Mm. Well, yeah, I don't know. I might, I might change it in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna say that while we are connecting uh, to your like inner powers, uh, you can pretty much like you are absolutely certain that the reason for this um, kind of zombie apocalypse, but hope, hope uh, prevent, but thankfully prevented by. You, uh, by you, is in fact indeed uh, the like this that leech who attacked you at the inn is the guy who uh, like raised this undead at the cemetery. All right. And he's rather powerful. Well, I stop floating, open my eyes, and say that lich is going to be a problem. And you know what? It will be like something like rule of cool. And now I give you a choice. If you wanna like uh, meditate longer, you can because 
the air around you, even after all these zombies have died, you can still feel the necromancy, the death magic that was used to raise the zombies. And Zombie. probably you might try to get something more. So there is a choice for you. Either you can meditate longer and no get a vision or something like that and know exactly where the phylactery and lich is i mean that'd be convenient or uh, you can like your powers will tell you what's like not all of them but some of the spells that this guy has and you, that would help you to prepare when he returns I would like to meditate and figure out where he's at. Okay. And so... But that will take whole night, because it's a pretty long stretch. Yeah, and, let's go buy an inn or something. And, and the question for the rest of the party is, uh, what will you do? I pretty much just go find a dark corner and start meditating. Okay. Well, no Gankiro's uh, already... Gone, gone away and uh, headed, headed for a pub. <laughs> yeah, Tired arm of... in arm with Otiris. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of Otiris uh, eating off the chips. <laughs> yeah, uh, if I'm guessing you are going back to the Fainting Quiver? Like it's the inn nope. that you are thinking. Not that inn, another inn. <laughs> okay, no problem. Just there, are, there are other inns, so no, no problem with that. Uh, just a quick reminder, I don't know if the, it was you, Genkiro, who said it, but I'm guessing somebody proposed that you might want to talk with uh, like the head cleric in Pinewood, Leoria. Yeah, probably. Mm. Of course, you don't need to do this today because, well, I don't need to tell you, but I, from your perspective, you have at least three major problems right now to deal with. But we'll deal with that. Yeah, a lich, an invasion, and a freaking secret artifact. And, and a random probably... dragon. And a freaking dragon. Well, mm. that invasion is connected with... Anyways, yeah. Uh, so, okay, so you are just taking R and R. I'm guessing, like, Otiros? Are yeah. you following Genkiro and also, like, taking some rest and drinking? Some more? Mm. <laughs> Presumably, time skip to next morning. Okay, uh, but before time that, oh, is still drinking. <laughs> yep, Elm. Uh, time skip after hangover. <laughs> yeah, but before that, Elm, while we are like f focusing on your inner powers, you are trying to get the the vision or something like that to tell you um, where. Uh, this guy, the leech, and his phylactery, because that is the most important thing. And speaking of phylactery, if I remember, if I remember correctly, you rolled 27 on your knowledge check about leeches. Yeah, everyone made it pretty much. Mm. Yeah, but I think Z uh, Elm had the highest. I don't think let's, anybody. Let's just presume that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you don't. Like the, you are almost sure that the, you don't know when this leech will return, but the <coughs> maximum amount of days that the leech will need to take to resurrect himself is slightly less than a two weeks. So you don't know exactly when, but in two weeks for sure he will come back. So that's your like time uh, potential deadline. Mm. Test, test, can you hear me? I can. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, we can. Do I need to repeat something because of the lack or... Elm? Uh, uh, I pretty yep. much heard that he's gonna come back in two weeks. Max, All right. Yeah, max max two weeks. He might become a rear, but, you know, you've, you've got it. <coughs> okay, so, uh, when you are focusing on your inner mind and visions, you see <coughs> you are... In a distant, far away, desolate land. The ground below you is desolated, completely devoid of any 
life and if you see anything that resembles life like something that might have been a tree in the past or uh, some kind of animal is twisted mutated and really does not resemble anything that you usually see while traveling so basically the fey world <sighs> not exactly but that, we'll get that in a moment and something tells you to like the you don't see too much too much because suddenly there's a fog that's around you but something after a while something tells you to pick <coughs> up <coughs> to uh, and Otero is coughing up a hairball yeah. hey, come on i'm not the fox you're the fox yes yeah, Okay, mm. I stopped for a second, so no problem. So to look up, and in the sky, like 100 or 200 feet in the sky, like hidden in the... You, some might say that there are clouds, but they are not white and healthy. They are like dark or like those are stormy. Like stormy, something like that. You can see a flying fortress, something that resembles a, a flying fortress hidden in the clouds and well, the vision like by by the looks of it like this vision you are pretty sure that this flying fortress is the place where this leech has its phylactery and you can take a knowledge uh, geography to like know where exactly in the world in this is this place I do not have knowledge geography, but could I use my guiding star mystery to figure that out? Whenever you can see the open sky at night, you can determine your price lo precise location. Uh, yeah, sure. So, right. like, your astral body or something like that. Basically, your point of view goes higher and higher above the fog, above the clouds, and after a uh, few minutes. And looking at the sky, you recognize that this flying fortress is above desolated plains. I will pop you to another map. And basically, desolated plains is the area about one, 90 to 100 miles north from uh, Sidonia. Okay, how do I... Like I'm trying to, okay, wait, I'm trying to ping you too. I see it. So that everyone can center. Okay, so it should have centered you. Okay, it's a big area. If you want to know anything about it, I think you need to have like knowledge history or knowledge local, but history, it would be the best. Well, I have knowledge history, so. Okay, so roll history. Of course, for now, only Elm can do it, but, uh, yeah. Okay, so the only thing that you might have heard or read that the desolated plains is this huge area that was basically destroyed in the brutal mage wars. And, yeah, the resulting conflict, like, the conflict uh, resulted in, like, this completely destroying the area. Some say that is completely devoid of any life, but some say that there are strange, dangerous creatures living inside of the desolated plains, and that basically traveling through it is kind of dangerous and you are risking your life because aside from potentially dangerous beasts, you can... you... you... Um, you have something like, uh, I don't know if you know Stalker, like some kind of anomalies and extreme weather conditions, but yeah, nothing too specific because yeah, you heard on like the overall things because, well, role wasn't that much. Yeah, good. Good. was it great? Yep. Okay, so that's everything you get from the vision. If 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 you e even want w would want to like go inside the fortress, some kind of force power prevents you from doing it, so you don't see the insides 
of the fortress. All right. So that's everything you can get from the vision. Well, now I just try to go find my new companions after that. Sure. Well, it takes some time, but you yeah. meet them, no problem, in one of the inns. And, uh, yeah, Genkiro and I Otiros can't say how much drunk are they, or even if they are drunk. <laughs> I can just listen for the, for the loudest guy complaining about his hangover. <laughs> oh, wait, because, yeah, that, uh, yeah, it took you whole night, so, yeah, it's the morning. Mm. Eight, pursue, maybe, no. Presumably we're, like, drunk outside some random bar. <laughs> Or pub. Yeah, your loyal horse is standing next next to you that he was keeping vigil, mm. <laughs> so nobody would <laughs> stall from yeah. you. Exactly. <coughs> Hello. Okay, um, you met your teammates. Hey, Adam. Hello. Uh, oh, greetings. Oh. Hello, Adam. Hello. Okay, uh... Adam, for now your character is not yet introduced, so... No, that's, that's, that's absolutely fine. Can I just say something about um, how I've um, I've got everything done except for his spell, but what is, what I've done instead is I've picked out a spell lot for the day, and that that's a pretty general spell bunch, and it will do, and then another time I'll uh, buy... I've, I've left him plenty of money to buy scrolls for the spell book, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Uh, yes, uh, no, it, it, it will work for the time being. Yeah, but I don't think we will have too much of a fighting. This session is rather more like people, party will try to understand what's going on, what to do. Oh, fair enough. A lot of Getting topics. lost in a desert. Okay, fine. Yeah. Oh, I, I, in that case, my, my spell layout for kill everything might not be that useful. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Deal with your stuff and... Well, we can still use the Armageddon spell. If we can, like... <laughs> what are we going to nuke? <laughs> no, no, it's cool, though. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm really glad to join. I'm really interested in Kingmaker, so this should be... Um, not Kingmaker. Eternal, well, the, uh, this, this guild we're in, the Eternal Wanderers, I don't know anything about it, so I'm kind of, well, excited. No worries. If I, when I introduce your character... Okay, cool. If you have I'll just more. listen in for the time being. Yep. Okay, so... Uh... He's going to cast a 3.5 spell Apocalypse from the sky. <laughs> uh, well, I, I I don't know if you heard the like story about Locate Town Bomb, but that's that's yeah. for another time. For now, let's like focus on the session. So yeah, Elm, Otiros, Genkiro, you are together. What are you doing? Elm? You are talking about your vision or something like that? Yeah, let's yep. do that. <laughs> I'll mention the. Uh, I'll ask them out about the uh, desolate plains and what they know about it. The desolate plains, isn't that to the west? A history check. I mean, if you ask specifically about this region, it's rather geography, but, well, it, ah, might, have, okay, if, it might have been history, if you want to. Okay, let me check geography. Okay. All right. But I'm guessing, if you want to know where it is, yeah, it's geography. If you want to know about it? Uh, yeah. All right, then I think I'll do it as well. If you want to know if you heard anything about like this place yeah. in your books so yeah that's rather that's history okay so yeah that's because it's a fucking huge place uh, well you both pass so you know that the desolated plains are rather huge area about 90 to 100 miles north from uh, Sidonia okay so I'm gonna Sidonia roll a... is, it's this land I'm gonna roll a history check to see if I know anything special about it mm. Yeah, no, maybe not. Um, mm. Well, sorry, it's only slightly better than Elm, Elm's roll, so you basically know the same as he is. Yeah. All right, I... do, can I roll a uh, knowledge nature to see what kind of animals are inhabiting it? Mm, not really, no. Sorry. Like this, it's fucked up with magic. This area is like... No one who wants to live and no one who doesn't need to doesn't venture in this place. 
isn't it more like it's completely fucked up with magic? So whatever is there would be more magical than nature. Mm. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so please continue. Like, um. but before wait, one question for Elm, because as you might remember, last time you went to the city of Pineville because you heard something or your inner powers told you that there might be some kind of powerful artifact, or at least part of it. Uh, Aaron, don't you like uh, planning to like some some kind of deal with your party members? Like I will tell you about location of the leech, and you might wanna tell me something about this artifact, something like that. All right. What? I plan on that because I've also heard them mention it. Hmm. So I know that the other people I'm looking for. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. never mind, just search for my question, just roll how you, how you wanna like go with this thing. If you tell, are you telling them everything and they... I'm waiting to see if they're going to respond about me asking about the desolate plains. Oh. Um, Genker kind of shrugs and uh, points, it's to the north of here. What about it? Well, I will tell you in exchange for information. What kind of information? Earlier, before the Lich attacked us, you mentioned an artifact. E did we? You did. Really? Thor. <clears throat> mm. Now, I may have information on this Lich. If you have information about this artifact that you mentioned. Yeah, here's a piece of information. Don't fuck with it. No. Very helpful. What kind of information about the Lich would you have? I can't say. Okay. So, Genkiru, do you mind telling me about it? It's hardly like we have anything to do with it. Well, it's not our artifact. Ah, that's true. So, I don't know if we are privileged to say anything about it, but... Do you think they'd mind? I mean, do you really think they'd mind we tell anyone we meet on the street about their secret artifact? Oh, remember, we are members of the same guild. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. That's one of the points that can be made here. I suppose we might as well trust you. I'd rather not have that lich pop up behind me and behind us and nuke us or something. Mm. And What's remember a, that... What's a duke? <laughs> <laughs> and well, remember that one day ago, like, few of your members, like, died, so, like, if you wanna do something with this artifact, you will probably need help of another person. And if he's from your guild, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but from what I understand, no, pretty much nobody can handle the artifact. Eh, hey, that's what you told us. Uh, yep, and if I remember correctly, during one of your last talks with Head Cleric, like Pope Leoria, she said something that she needs time to think about plan, or like something like that to what to do with this thing. So if you, like, if you go to her, Something might have changed, she might give information, uh, it's like... We might take you to the one who knows about the artifact, You maybe she'll tell you about it. Mm. Alright then, and on the way, I will tell you about the Lich. Uh, sounds like a deal. Mm. So off we go. Yeah. Okay. So after some time you arrive to the uh, Basilica main temple in the town and 
because some of you are like already known to the uh, head cleric, you have no basically no problems at all to get a meeting uh, with her. Of course, she's always like uh, beaming with uh, energy. She's basically very positive uh, person, and as always, she thanks you for all the things you've done for the city. Yada yada yada, and. Uh, but of course, she doesn't pay us any gold or anything. <laughs> well, you really want to talk about the gold? <laughs> well, you, well, if somebody asks about the gold, she says that regretfully you need to talk with uh, Re uh, Robert Augustus. He, from what I know, he will be, he will probably be coming back to the city next day. Yeah, muttering under my breath, he'll probably just redirect us back here again. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, for now, mm, so, may so I assume that? So technically, Sack, are you going to ask her about the ask her about the artifact? Mm. So, ma'am, about this artifact that I've heard of, I'm real rather interested in it. I understand. You could say that uh, artifacts are to a field of research for me. I understand. I'm guessing it will be the most simple solution is just to show you the thing. That works. Along the way I can tell you what I told these two on the way here about who started the zombie apocalypse in the middle of your city. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Th this will be one of the things we will need to talk about and decide what to do. But for now, please, follow me. I follow. So I guess everybody follows. Do those two? And hero, not heroes. Mm, I might. No, I suppose I might as well just follow. I, my horse is still outside, so I can take it with me. Mm. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Uh, just a quick question for Elm. Do you have any like permanent detect magic or something like, like that, or do you need to cast it if you even have that kind of spell? What do you mean, like detect magic? Like, do you? Like, because some of the characters, like, which played in this campaign had, like, uh, like permanent detect magic active. Like, so when, whenever they go, went, they immediately, like, detected some kind of, like, things. Magical things. So I'm just asking if this is the case in your, or do you need to, like, cast a detect magic spell to detect magic? Simple as that. I just have to cast it. Okay, no problem. I'll just, it's all I wanted to know. But... It's a level zero spell, and I can just be like, detect magic, detect magic, detect magic. <coughs> so, okay. I think I'll be fine. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, so yeah, you follow the head cleric, Leoria, down into the basement, and you can see that going through the corridors, you can see a lot of uh, some kind of runes and other magical inscriptions, and basically the things you see on the like walls, you are pretty much sure that this room and artifact is really well defended. And yeah. So, um, you enter, finally, after some time, you enter a not average size room, and in it, on the small pedestal in the center of the room, you can see a some a blade, but it's only a part of the blade. Like, there's only a hilt and some of the, uh, what's the word? Cross guard? So basically, basically it's only the lower, like when you have the f like normal sword, you only have like the lower part of the... The hilt? Yeah, on the hilt and some of the like sword. That's basically, it's basically broken. This You see yeah, this artifact is, is broken and it's not uh, full. 
and like nobody or nothing prevents you from stepping like closer but if you do that uh, head cleric pope leoria simply says that